Yeah. All right, I don't know who's going to follow that, but I guess this asshole right here is going to have to try that. <laughs> Give it up for Alexa. Alexis. I, I'm like I'm way too used to... Sorry, Alexis, that was like the worst ever. I deserve that and more. Alexa, play Grandpa Drew. She won't, even though she has my music and she refuses, and I try not to take it personally when I scream at her to like play my music, and she's like, I don't have that. I'm like, I know you have that. I paid good money to make sure that my distribution is on there. I'd appreciate it if you dial it up. All right, there's Alec. That's good to know. So, Alec, I'm going to put you and Chloe after this. We're, uh, we're wrapping the show up here. By wrapping up, maybe we only have like an hour left. All right, so I'm Grandpa Drew. Um, if you're anywhere near South Park, San Diego, we do this show once a month at South Park, the first Saturday of every month. And uh, it's, a, it's a fun show, as you can see. We get a little more uh, ribald um, <laughs> during the, uh, the bar shows. We're trying to keep things as clean as possible. I have my f that I've been pretty successful at keeping very low. So I should explain my ometer. So during like a, a normal flip flam, I just like I cuss at the audience a whole lot. I scream at people, and like the whole idea is just make people get involved whether they want to or not. And I have no problem going after it. It's like from my old school punk days. I just like I'll go after an audience. So you guys are really lucky you brought your kids because I'm being nice to you. But otherwise, I'd be all over you. Um, so I have this f -ometer. My mom, I grew up, I don't know how you guys grew up with kids, but my mom let me cuss as a kid. I could say everything but the F word. That was it. Like, if I could say any other word, but as soon as I dropped the F bomb, then I was in trouble. Sit down, son, I need to yell at you because she's shorter than me, right? <laughs> so, she actually made me this f -ometer. That's what I'm getting at right here for the flim flam because she'd come to the shows and now I'm a full, adult, full grown adult man, arguably, and suddenly my mom's showing up at shows and giving me the stink eye every time I drop the F-bomb. And uh, so she made that meter for me to keep me somewhat in check. All right, you guys ready for some music? You guys ready for some day drinking? You guys been doing some day drinking? All right, this song is called Day Drinking. I wrote this song, we used to do a thing called the Tin Can Country Club at a bar down in uh, a place called the Tin Can in uh, Bankers Hill. This fella may or may not have owned that bar. He's still not sure. <laughs> and I wrote this one we used to meet every Monday at the Tin Can Country Club. It's called Day Drinking. likes his women, like he likes his beer, and he just says nothing with a thousand mile stare. So I hold her bitter, he orders a stout, fellas sit too upright, settles up and gets out. But there ain't no women in this whole damn bar, so I can't quite figure while we're acting so hard, there's a fella sitting anchor all alone in the back. He orders up some fruity graces, his glass, we smile back. Let's hear that fiddle. his religion, like he likes the cops, somewhere across town, far away from us, we 
all just smile. Sit quiet as a mouse. Or keep pours us all with whiskey and we drink on the house. Two more times on that. Or keep pours us all with whiskey and we drink on the house. And that's how you do a flim flam right there. How about our drummer? This is only the second time he's ever played with us. He's not heard any of these songs. He has no idea what's going on. He caught all the stops on that. That was pretty awesome. That's the hard part. Anybody can come up and like figure out a beat, but knowing when to stop and you know knowing when to stop, even finish the song is hard enough. But then you get pricks like me who put stops in all the songs all over, and it's just not very friendly to a drummer, is it? All right, um, I, I wrote this song for my wife. Um, like Chad, I, I really like songs to kill yourselves to. Um, that's always been one of my favorite types of songs. Is songs to slash your wrist to are the best songs. <laughs> thought the f bombs were bad. I'm really giving them a bad example. So, so my wife one day asked me. She's like, "Can you can you write a song that maybe you know might make somebody smile? That would be you know a great idea." And I thought, "Yeah, that does sound like a great idea. I'll try it." So I did. And I decided I'd write it for her. So this is my first best failed attempt at a happy song. It's called Rainbow Puppies. It's got a happy name, <laughs> even if it's got all the minor chords in it.
sustained applause. See how that guy keeps clapping? That's that's the way. Like, keep getting the clap. Wait, that's not right. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a whole different thing. We'll get claps. If you get too much for the clap, a little penicillin will set you up. That's a little advice from Grandpa Drew right there. Alright, where's Alec and Chloe? There's Alec. I got one more song, Alec, that I'm putting you and Chloe up. This song is called I Be Local. Anybody from Imperial Beach out there? Sweet. No one's getting stabbed today. Yeah. I wrote this song about all my uncles in Imperial Beach growing up. And uh, it's funny, like, I, actually, I'm not going to tell the story of the song. I'm going to tell you the story of, like, did anyone ever used to watch uh, the, the show In Living Color when that was out again? Yeah. 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 I, I always feel like when I explain a song and then I sing the song, remember like the bit with the old blues dude? It's like an old blues guitar player and he's like, So I wrote a song about getting lost in the forest one day and I marched out and I fell into a river and I drowned. I wrote a song about it when you hear it. It goes like this. Got lost in the forest, down the river and I drowned. Thank you. And then he starts over and every time he explains a song, the lyrics are the exact same things. So, figure it out. This is Augie Local. Got a bumper sticker on his Volkswagen Beetle. Proudly said, "I be local." A bug painted yellow with blue lightning bolts, like the helmet I wore on field. With a pool cue and a beer on the table, others found him too old. For. Hard and determined to get heaven to cross it. That's what I am Oh, 
working class man with working ambitions and a love for blood in the sand. Laughter came easy with family and friends as he drank his weekends right through. When he was done drinking, he smoked a little Mexi by poking some holes in that can. Don't do that, kids. Backyard or front yard, the neighbors joined in. Wasn't much else they could do. I feel He loves the sound of his own voice so much, almost as much as his wife, too. <laughs> 